Hello, and welcome to the Charlian Forum. My name is Chris, and today I wanted to continue my coverage of the Dawn Trail benchmark that just released. Something that somebody may not know is that when you create your character in the benchmark, you can select a gear set, and when you do so, it changes the weapon that your character will load in with in the actual benchmark video itself. So since we're uh, always loading in as a Viper in this video, I wanted to go over the weapons that we see because there's some really interesting ones, um, some that we might not expect to see. So up first, obviously we have our level 100 artifact. This is the one that we've seen time and time again in all of the promotional footage, nothing too exciting here. This is the weapon that you would get when you select your starting gear, which leads me to believe that this is probably the starting weapon that we're gonna open the coffer with at level 80 when we unlock the job. Nothing too fancy, just a pretty standard sword. All right, up next we have the Eden Morn weapon. This is an interesting one because we're getting weapons from old raids, which is something that we haven't seen before. I mean, I have a theory about that that I'm going to go into a little bit later. But up next we have the Omega set, um, and this does have a unique weapon set. Uh, again, a part of that theory uh, I'll come back to, but very interesting that we're getting these old raid weapons. Here we have the Genji set, which has a very ornate weapon. Um, not something that I would expect to see. Uh, the Genji set, of course, coming from um, some mid-tier Stormblood raids. Um, really unusual to see an entirely new weapon made for that. It could just be that they slapped it on to this gear set because it looked nice, but I don't think that's the case. Here we have the Grand Company set. Um, this is a weapon set that we see in all three Grand Company sets that are available in the benchmark. To me, this seems like this is probably just either a leveling weapon or it could be the level 90 um, artifact that you would get from the uh, vendor in Charlian um, because those weapons have been present in the past expansions for new jobs. Uh, here we have an Alexander weapon. Um, again, a part of that theory that I'm going to circle back to. Um, really interesting that this weapon is in here with this set. Um, this weapon does appear on the Dwarven set as well, um, which could break down the entire theory that I have, but I don't think that's the case. I think that they just wanted to uh, include more sets. Here we have an Ironworks weapon. Um, again, very unusual to see this. Um, it's a level 50 gear set and weapon ostensibly, so I'm not sure why a job that's level 80 would get it. And then here we have a Dreadworm set. Um, I think at this point you might be picking up on what my theory is. And uh, here we have an Anabasio set for the current uh, raid tier. Um, so this isn't too surprising. We usually get a uh, weapon for the raid tier that's current when the expansion, a new expansion releases for the new jobs, um, just because you can run that content and you should be getting uh, rewards for it. And then here we have a Hellhound set. Um, for the, so this is from your PvP. Very interesting. This might date me a little bit, but this reminds me a lot of uh, the Oblivion King Blade from Kingdom Hearts, um, if anybody remembers that. So then, what weapons we can expect to see? Every job always gets their deep dungeon weapons. So that's something like the Palace of the Dead weapon sets, the Heaven on High weapon sets, and the Eureka Orthos weapon set. Uh, we'll expect to see that for both jobs. And then from there, we're going to have um, the Eden Morn, the Omega, and the starting weapon. Those should all be um, level 80. We're gonna have the Augmented Crypt Lurker, which will of course come from Tomes. That's gonna to be probably your best weapon to start with when you unlock the jobs. And then we'll have all of our uh, weapons going through Endwalker. So we'll have dungeon drops from Tower of Zot, Tower of Babel, Vanaspati, uh, Katissus Hyperborea, um, and then we'll have crafted weapons in between each of those. And then uh, we should be getting our level uh, 89 or 90 artifact, depending on how they wanna do it from either a quest or that vendor in Charlian where we picked up our 89 gear and Endwalker. And then we'll have our uh, current tome weapon. That'll be the new uh, standard at level 90. And then we'll have our uh, Anabasios weapon and then the Orthos and Anardios weapons, like I said, from Eureka Orthos. So my theory with these weapons that we don't expect to see, like the Edenmorn weapons and the Omega weapon, is that these are base weapons for new ultimate weapons that we're going to be getting going forward. Um, so obviously the Omega weapon would make sense as a reward for top. Um, that could be a base weapon for... For that going forward. Um, the Eden weapon is obviously going to be a base weapon for the new Eden ultimate that's coming out. That makes sense. Uh, but we start to see some interesting stuff when we look at these other weapons. So like the Genji weapon, for example, really ornate, um, not something that I would expect to see out of a leveling weapon. I mean, this could be a base weapon for like DSR. Um, if we continue to see this trend, you know, we might see weapons going all the way back for every ultimate for every job. Um, because right now there are jobs that don't get rewarded uh, for doing certain ultimates. Um, so it makes sense that they would do this. Alexander weapon, we could obviously see that being a reward for T. Um, you know, that's the base weapon. The Ironworks weapon, I think, is probably most likely a base weapon for an Uwu reward. Um, that just makes sense to me. Dreadworm, obviously, a reward for Yukob. So I think that we're going to start to see the devs go back to these older 
ultimates and create rewards for these new jobs because right now there's not really a reason to do them on those older jobs or on these newer jobs rather um, because there's no reward for it um, and ultimate is all about the you know the, the glamour chase and if you don't have a reason to chase then why would you do the content um, especially if you're really invested in this one job and you really want to play that job so i think that maybe they've understood that at this point with all the rewards talk that we've been having and now they're going back and they're going to be adding those rewards into the older ultimates so what do you guys think let me know and uh, that's it for today